Hey everyone, this is Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, a quick and easy way to do lightsaber effects. I'm going to cover the two main ways that I do this. If you're just finding my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to get new Photoshop CC tutorial videos on Thursdays and graphic design videos on Mondays. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now for this tutorial, I'll be using um, some photography I did myself of my good friend Malcolm Campbell. Uh, you can check out his YouTube channel by uh, clicking on the annotation or the link in the description below. But uh, this is a shot we did where we were actually messing around. We shot a video that I haven't posted yet uh, for this like um, Star Wars thing that we were doing. And I decided to do some stills where I used Photoshop to make a lightsaber effect more realistic um, since all we had was uh, my... Uh, prop lightsabers, which you can buy those from Ultra Sabers. Uh, it's a great online shop. Um, I'm not really doing like a promo for them, but these things are combat ready and they worked out really good for me. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you're interested in lightsaber props for your photo shoots or your videos, that that's what I'm going to recommend. But anyway, um, as far as the actual Photoshop layers here, you can see that this is pretty basic. Um, there are some layers that I merged. I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's go ahead and trash some of these layers so that I can start from scratch. And I'm just going to leave this curves layer here because it's not really interfering with anything and I just like the effect that it has on the overall image so we're just going to leave that in place. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to select our fill tool and we're going to make a new layer and we're going to fill it with black and change the blend mode to screen. The reason that we're doing this is because if you just use a tr new transparent layer, it's not going to um, pick up colors and it's just going to be a transparent layer and that's going to become really important when we actually add the color effect to our lightsaber. So we're just going to set the blending mode to screen and we're just going to label this as our core for now. Now the way I'm going to show you how to do this is different than probably some of the other tutorials because I'm actually going to use the uh, brush tool and part of the reason for that in this particular case is uh, just because lightsabers are not um, you know, solid and have completely sharp edges. And I just feel the brush tool gives it a more organic look. However, um, I will do a version of this where I show you how to do it with the pen tool if you want something uh, super precise. So uh, just because that might be the style or the look that you want. But I'm just going to take this and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to duplicate this three times using um, command uh, J, control J if you're on Windows and... All right, so we've done that three times, um, and you can see what that does right there. Um, now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do um, a part you may or may not be familiar with uh, with regard to Gaussian Blur. Um, and, you know, this actually is looking decent as far as a lightsaber core already, but the Gaussian Blur is actually really going to help us out when we do this. So we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And in this case, I'm going to do uh, five pixels to start. And that should be all right. And then on the layer below it, I'm going to do filter Gaussian blur again. This time with 10 pixels. Actually, I'm not going to do 10 pixels. I'm going to do 15 pixels this time. And on this last one, I'm going to do filter blur Gaussian blur. And I'm going to try. 30 pixels to see how that looks and I like what this is doing so um, this is what I'm going to confirm and I'm just going to do one more like that and now I'm going to select all of my core layers I'm going to merge them and you can do that with uh, command E or um, control E on Windows 
and that changed the blend mode back to more normal. I'm going to change that to screen. All right. And that's our primary base of this effect. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image, image adjustments. I'm going to go to color balance. Now, for whatever color I want this to be, I'm going to move that in the midtones while preserving luminosity. And I'm going to do that in the highlights. So if I wanted a green lightsaber, I'd be doing this. But because we've got color casting and light casting from um, the original, and I would just tone this back a bit. But because we have color casting and light casting, uh, we're not going to make this green. We're just going to actually make this red. And that's giving us the look that we want. I'm just going to confirm that with OK. And there you go. And what we can do now is if we want to just uh, pull back a little bit of, um, you know, that where the hilt is, what we can do is we can apply a mask. So I can go ahead and mask. I can go ahead and set this mask to like something like 60%. And I can just paint a little bit of a way here where the hilt is. And that's okay. So as you can see, that actually looks uh, pretty good. Now, realistically, also, um, because of the light stuff, you know, you'd probably want to add a little bit of a highlight and a color wash here by the hands, um, things like that. But again, those are all additional steps that you can take in post. This is the primary lightsaber effect. Now, again, you can do this also with the pen tool if you uh, don't want to use the brush and you feel like being um, a little more quote unquote precise. So I'm going to show you how you do that on a completely separate image over here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to trash these layers. Create a new layer. Fill with 100% black. Change blend mode to screen. I'm going to select my pen tool with uh, shape selected. Make sure my fill color is set to white. No stroke. In this case, I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to uh, create. as close of a shape as I can to the uh, actual lightsaber hilt here. And if it's a little off, you can just use the um, direct selection tool on the anchor points and you can drag that out um, and do what you need to there. All right, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and just rasterize our layer because uh, that's what we're gonna need to do. And we can just merge that with our black layer using um, Command E. Uh, again, uh, Control E if you're on Windows. Set blend mode to screen. And then using uh, Control J or Command J, just duplicate that three times. And then once again, we'll use our Gaussian Blur.
And once we're satisfied with those, we can go ahead and we can merge them with Control E, um, Command E on the Mac. Set the blend mode to screen once more. And again, we'll just go up to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. And again, whatever we want this to be in terms of a lightsaber color, we will affect that using the color balance. And so if we wanted, we could make this a blue lightsaber, and then we could always go back in, and we could change the color casting. And there's a lot of uh, different ways that we could do that. But I'm not going to necessarily focus on that in this video. Um, yeah, I'll show you another tutorial video for color casting and things like that at some other point. But again, this is how you make those lightsaber effects. And, you know, it just depends on what you want and what you want it to look like in terms of how much Gaussian blur you use for the effect um, and what you have going on there and whether you want a, you know, super refined, sharp-edged lightsaber or you want something that feels a little more organic. You know, it just depends. There's not a super right or wrong to that. It's just a matter of preference and the look and style that you're going for and also um, what's going on with your prop. Um, now, in theory, if I didn't need the additional um, light source and I wasn't specifically trying to go for a red lightsaber, when I shot this as a photographer, I would have normally shot it without the uh, light effect from the lightsaber on, like especially if I had been doing it in daylight, so I could just add that fake color casting in later. In my own um, final versions of this, I actually did change the color casting. I did a variety of um, lightsaber um, you know, color washes for this and a little bit of artwork with that. Um, I'll post links to those final images in the description below. Um, so in any case, that is how you do a lightsaber in Photoshop. It's really not anything that difficult, and you can use this to do a lot of other different things, not necessarily just lightsabers. You could do this with um, more or less plasma beams, energy attacks, different things like that. I'll show you some other videos um, in this series at some point in terms of doing more special effects and things like this. Um, especially if you guys actually request that. So if there's a special effect that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, as always, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to get the other videos um, in my Photoshop series, new videos on Thursdays and graphic design videos on Mondays. Um, all right, well, that's it. And again, thanks for watching.